Hey, welcome back. I uh, appreciate your time. So this is part 10 of the Shelf by Shelf Horror Movie Collection Overview series. Um, as usual, if I got any updates to give in the previous sections that have already been covered, I will do that. Try to keep this series as updated as possible. So uh, starting with the numbers, um, I'm trying to do this without a step stool, so I'm pretty sure I can still reach up there. I got in, I watched the trailer for it. It seemed pretty damn dark and brutal. A movie called Five Card Stud. Um, I've never seen it before. Um, I mean, I'm obviously I know Dean Martin and Robert Mitchum. Um, but yeah, I've never seen this before. I watched the trailer and said, you know what? I do have a few messed up, dark, brutal westerns mixed in with my horror. I'll give this one a shot and see what I think. If it doesn't quite gel well with my horror movie collection, then I'll just have to put that in there with my miscellaneous movie collection I have in the living room. We'll see. I do have quite a few westerns sprinkled in my horror collection, such as, um... Cuts, Cutthroats 9, which is one of my favorites. I um, uh, just recently watched four, The Four of the Apocalypse, a Fulci one that I thought was really good. It had like this crazy Charles Manson sort of theme to it. So I don't mind mixing that one in with my horror. Uh, then there's the Clint East one, the High Plains, what is it? High Noon Plains Drifter, or High Noon Drifter, with supernatural elements with that one. I, I don't mind having that in the horror collection. Um, recent ones would be Brimstone or Bone Tomahawk. So we'll see. I could be way off with this one. I, like I said, I've never seen it before. If it doesn't quite gel well with the horror collection, then I'll just have to, I'll just take it out. But I just wanted to at least give it a shot. So that's that. Five card stud. I, again, I watched the trailer. It looked to be crazy brutal. So we'll see. All right. And then... Coming on across, um, just one title as of now in the A section, and that would be, I'm going to give this one a shot. I've never seen it before. Um, I've never really tried to avoid it. I just never got around to checking it out. I remember seeing this in stores available in brick and mortar stores all the time, and I just never, never bothered to snatch up a copy until now. So this is American Psycho 2. Um... I'll see. I've just never seen it before. I've always liked that cover, though. That's pretty cool. And I like what's her name, the actress there. I just, I mainly know her from like that 70s show. Um, and then like Family Guy. She does voice acting for that cartoon. Anyway, American, I believe that's her. American Psycho 2. So that's that one. It gets placed back in there. So that's kind of why I just have it, just to make it easy on me. I just have it sitting like that. All right. And then that's it for the A's section coming on down i enjoyed this one i finally got around to watching this movie here backtrack um yeah very cool super supernatural horror uh thriller-esque movie so I, I enjoyed that one so that one's finally off the want list got that one pretty cheap so yeah backtrack pretty cool and then another one added into Added over here, another sequel. Um, I like this one, it's a bit gorier. Um, never had this on DVD or any other format, so this is the first for me to own a physical copy of this sequel, and this is Basic Instinct Part Two. And uh, very pleased to get a slip cover. I, yeah, anyway, I, I, I really dug this one, so, um, so glad to get that one. And wasn't expecting a slipcover with it, as old as this release is, so that, that was a nice surprise. So yeah, Basic Instinct 2. Really cool. And this one from Dark Force Entertainment. Upgrade from the, uh, I don't think I've had this one. No, it's an upgrade from a DVD. Um, the Beast and the Vixens. That one. Was, been waiting on this one that finally came in, so that's pretty cool. So looking forward to revisiting this one. This is another one that's been a long minute. So awesome. Again, from Dark Force Entertainment. That's that. Uh, coming on across. 
this looks to be crazy just got this in not too long ago blind faith never heard of it well, let me zoom out now that, now that i'm not having a that's better yeah blind faith um it just looks bonkers so this is where is it? who is this coming from like um vhs hit fest i believe that's how you say it i'm not sure uh, vhs hit yeah coming from those guys um i got a few other releases and i've enjoyed what i've watched so far um haven't watched everything that i've gotten from this label but yeah, Blind Faith looks to be pretty cool, so check that out when I can. could just do my updates this way, um, just kind of mix it in with the shelf by shelves, but I'm a creature of habit. I don't know if I want to do, I don't know if I want to do that. Um, and then last, as far as updates go in these previous sections here that have already been covered, is another blood title. I got to thinking about art exploitation uh, films, uh, their catalog, and I was like, this one popped out. Seemed interesting. I watched the trailer. Uh, it looked kind of splattery, sort of like a revenge sort of movie. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like a I Spit on Your Grave sort of theme a bit. I don't know. I, I could be way off, but Blood Paradise, another one added into the blood section. That's, the blood section is always going to be growing. <laughs> so that's Blood Paradise. And now I last left off on or in part nine it was a bloody uh summer camp so all right starting with uh blowout which is an awesome movie uh, got the criterion 4k release so yeah blowout pretty cool i had to give that i don't know how many times i bought this movie so that's that i got this one in recently uh because i missed out on the first drop but uh yeah um blue we in the yeah we're in the blue section now okay blue i couldn't read that blue android another i probably can't flip that around another crazy gore uh fetish movie i ordered from uh broke house and i've been waiting for them to re-release this because i missed out on it the first time so kind of collecting all these crazy um rated x crazy gore sick uh fetish movies so pretty cool uh definitely ones that i have to watch <laughs> watch not with the family on that obviously um all right bluebeard this one's getting released through uh, kino arbor they're, they're kind of going uh back and re-releasing some of their older uh blu-rays and putting really nice collector's slip covers so i'll probably be interested in double dipping on this one because this movie is a pretty cool one so bluebeard and then you have another take on the same story uh, Bluebeard, this one's from the 70s, if I remember, yeah, 72, so again, Bluebeard, um, remake, I guess, or retelling, I guess you could say, uh, totally different movie, but with same title, uh, Bluebeard, this one was pretty good, I like this little thriller, so, get pretty crazy in spots, The Blue Jean Monster, had a blast with this one, it was a, another first time watch for me, so thank you, 88 films i don't have too many 88s in my collection so try and keep an eye on what they're doing so if they release something that seems like it's going to be up my alley then i'm going to want to go after it and this was no exception so yeah the blue jean monster awesome movie another one from hong kong craziness all right and then i got this one in not too long ago is this a franco yeah i've yet to see it but it just watching the trailer, reading the synopsis, it just seemed crazy bonkers. One of those erotic, uh, crazy thrillers. So yeah, Blue, Re Blue Rita. Uh, this is one of my favorites as far as recent. I say recent, but this has got some years on it now. Uh, recent thrillers go. And that is Blue Ruin. Good stuff. Um, definitely a fan of this director. So I've got to have this somewhere on your shelf. So yeah, Blue Ruin. One of my all-time favorites from the 70s. And I love this director, Lieberman. Blue Sunshine. Awesome, crazy uh, movie. With a story that seems like, yeah, one of those stories that could be could be true, really. Um, there's been similar incidents happening in life. So, yeah, Blue Sunshine, good stuff. Not nowhere near on a bonkers level like that, but there's been incidents, unfortunately, happening in our history where... 
All right, come on, let's come back here. Uh, Blue Steel, Jamie Lee Curtis. I got this one in probably a few months back, and I, I, I do want to check this out, though. Definitely one of those thrillers I never even knew existed until this, until this dropped. So, yeah, Blue Steel. Uh, Blue Velvet, I, definitely one of my favorites to come from uh, Lynch. And yeah, I was definitely late to the party. I didn't see this until um, maybe a few years back. Yeah, Blue Velvet, one of those I rented first and then... Uh, Really liked it. Okay, uh, I think we're ending the blue section uh, for now. Uh, blue Vengeance. I never thought I'd have a that much of a blue section. It's weird. I guess that's why I like ABC Order because it just seems interesting that way. Anyway, Blue Vengeance. Pretty cool. I say cool, but I have yet to, <laughs> I have yet to watch this. And I forget what it's about. Uh, who released this? Moving on. Moving on. My goal is to get through the B, the B O. I guess you could call it that section here. Um, boarding house. I like this movie. Um, yeah, it's just crazy enough and weird enough to not appreciate it. So, it's kind of like with like. Um, blood suckers from outer space that kind of thing it's it's so bad but yet it's unique and and just um yeah it's just weird i like that i believe akfa also released um that other one um or was it okay anyway moving on um bodies 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 this one was okay that was a blind buy this one was pretty cool another one of those killer bear themed movies uh body at brighton uh rock one of those blind buys, pre-orders from Amazon. Uh, body bags, one of my favorites to come from uh, John Carpenter. I love this, one of my all-time favorite horror anthologies, period. And um, my favorite segment in this will always be hair. It's just my kind of weird. Love hair. Uh, all the stories are great in that one. It's, it's a classic, for sure. Body bags. Uh, body double, good stuff. Gotta have body double, for sure. Um, that's an old Twilight Time edition here. I've been rocking that one for years. Uh, one of my all-time favorites. Uh, speaking of, just it's just very unique. It's weird. I think this was made in Australia. I think this is an Australian horror film. Uh, just bizarre. Body melt. Good stuff. It's just uh, I don't know. If you're a fan of street trash and movies of that ilk, you like that. Good stuff. Body melt's good stuff. One of my favorites. Body of Evidence, a great uh, erotic thriller. Got to have that one. Kind of get nervous putting movies in and out around this because just the way this cover sleeve is designed, you can easily damage it. I, sh I probably should put a protective sleeve over the covers like that. I've yet to do that. Um, body parts, uh, good stuff. I don't, did I already pull this one out? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, body parts, got to have it. Good gore effects, practical effects in this one. So, yeah, good stuff. Um, I forget who directed this one. Eric Reed. Or Eric, excuse me, Eric Red. Oh, I'm drawing a blank on this guy. I'll have to see what other movies I have by him. But yeah, big fan of body parts. Uh, Boris Karloff and the Body Snatcher. Good stuff, gotta have it. This is from the 40s. Yeah, 1945. I knew it was something like that. Uh... I don't know, I'm holding a phone, but yet my arm, both of my arms, for some reason, I'm getting tired. Uh, Bog, double feature of Bog and Mako, the Jaws of Death. Good stuff. Um, Bog, <laughs> make you sleepy, for sure. Um, this one's a tough, this is tough to get through. I don't know why I like it as much as I do, but I do. Uh, I, have, I, have, I have yet to watch Mako, the Jaws of Death. I've had that movie, I've gone after that movie like two or three times, and I still have yet to watch it. I need to. Okay, getting into one of the most awesome releases ever to come from Mondo Macabro and this is the only musicals I can take because it's just it, they're just done so well and they're awesome and it's just it's a good time watching uh I haven't watched all of these though um if I'd say I watched half of these my favorite being um oh which which one is that then the Monster Wakes, which is, uh, I don't know how to properly say that. That's why I'm struggling. 
and then the haunted temple was pretty fun and then there's another one i had on dvd that i've watched uh but yeah these are i'm not big on musicals but for some, the bollywood horror i can enjoy those very much so and i'm gonna try to get this back in here if i can but yeah amazing box set great to just get those movies all in one swoop like that instead of having to hunt each one down the hard way so yeah bollywood horror box set gotta have that um this one was pretty cool uh, i wasn't big a fan of the ending but i did like the way the creature looked um it has a nice pace to it though but overall i like it i don't love it but i do like the movie so yeah bone cold uh, one of my favorites come from the 90s as far as thrillers go bone collector good stuff i'm gonna set that over there all right uh snoop dog and bones it's been forever since i watched that one i am a fan of that one uh one of my favorites to come out in recent years and that's bones and all i absolutely love this uh, movie just a perfect blend of genres like coming of age drama horror heavy on the horror for sure uh yeah one of my absolute favorites i love bones and all great soundtrack too so great soundtrack to this movie so good stuff have absolutely no problem adding that in the horror collection for sure good cannibal coming of age cannibal movie speaking of cannibal movies and westerns uh bone tomahawk uh one of my absolute favorites um love this movie absolutely love this movie um and just every time i see what's his name um he was mainly known for that tv show like party of five i, I believe oh it's in here somewhere besides kurt russell he's awesome but Matthew Fox. Uh, Matthew Fox is just a, a great actor, and I, I really appreciate him. He did he did great in this movie as well. Um, another Matthew Fox horror film that I, I I really love is the one where he played in a zombie movie. It was like these cannibalistic looking creature zombies. I'm drawing a blank on it, but it's for now. It's like DVD only. But I loved him in that movie. But anyway, uh, moving on. One of my favorites, The Boneyard. I love the way these monsters look in this movie. Uh, a lot of fun. And it's the same special effects artist that worked in the movie, uh, 1986 movie House. He's definitely got a very unique sculpting style. I forget his name, but and it's unfortunate. He passed away way too soon. But uh, yeah, good stuff. The Bone, The Boneyard. Uh, Bong of the Living Dead. I had fun with this one. Uh, good little horror comedy. Another blind buy. A double feature of Bonnie's Kids and the Centerfold, Centerfold Girls. So, good stuff. Uh, the Boogans, one of my absolute favorites. Love the Boogans. And I like the way the monsters look in that one. Uh, the original uh, first one, the Boogie Man. Gotta have that one. My kind of weird good stuff. Um, yeah, I love the cemetery scene and all that stuff. Uh, the Boogie Man, I enjoyed this one as well. Uh, this one was pretty good. Um, this one didn't do too well, I don't think, as far as, like, uh, the movie critics go. I, I think that one got, um, bashed a lot, but I, to my surprise, I, I didn't have high expectations, and I enjoyed it. I liked it. Uh, Clyde Barker's, yeah, Book of Blood. Um, I'm not familiar with the novels, or just maybe just one novel, I don't remember. But, you know, I, I dug this one. It wasn't bad. Um, not one of my favorites to come from Barker, but I, I, I like Book of Blood. Uh, Book of Monsters. I have yet to watch this one. I don't think I've watched this one. I don't remember. But yeah, Book of Monsters. And then I like collecting these. These are a lot of fun. It's just very nostalgic of what this company's been doing. Uh, SCS Entertainment. I remember, I remember discovering those guys. Um, I think they're still around. Yeah. Yeah, I just recently picked up a, uh, one of their releases. Um, be an up, upcoming update. Uh, it's murderous or gloved and murderous or something like that. Anyway, uh, boot bootleg death tape. Um, yeah, just fake. Uh, just basically paying homage to like faces of death and all that kind of shocking every stuff. Uh, just these are fun and stupid. So I like collecting those. And they're fun to watch. It just depends on depending on your mood. Uh, oh, I love this movie, Border. Good, very unique, very original, uh, in my humble opinion. Um, absolutely, I love this movie. So, good stuff. Good, like, fantasy, horror, that kind of thing. So, yeah, good stuff. 
Uh, I got this mainly. It's a double feature. Got it mainly for Borderland because that's just a crazy brutal movie. I have yet to watch Crazy Eights. I'll check that out eventually. I'm not sure when. I've had this on the shelf for years. I'm sure a lot of you guys kind of know how that is. Uh, this one was okay. I dug this one. Uh, very bizarre and unique as well. Uh, Borgman. And I'm familiar with the director, but his other movies are drawing a blank. But yeah, that was a blind buy. Very cool documentary on Boris Karloff. You gotta have it. Uh, one of the best things to come from... Uh, I don't even know if you're still around. Voltage Films. I think this was like a pre-order on Amazon at one point. Yeah, Boris Karloff, The Man Behind the Monster. Good stuff. Great documentary. Um, got a couple of books I've read up on him, though, but I, I definitely learned a few new things about the about Boris Karloff. Um, for the longest time, I just mainly known him as, you know, Frankenstein's monster. Uh, Born for Hell? Um, I need to get around to watching this. This looks to be really good. I just have not seen that yet. That's from Severin. Some more Ittenbach, Olaf Ittenbach, uh, Born Undead. Pretty fun, gory little splatter zombie movie. Good stuff. Um, who released this? This is sort of one of those uh, fly-by-night sort of companies. I don't, I think they've been since long gone. But yeah, Born Undead. And then love this movie it's a mess of a movie i know but it's just something about it i love the weird humor that it has good stuff the borrower i finally finally hit disc this was definitely was i thought one of those movies that'd be doomed to be on vhs forever but we finally have a nice collector's edition of the borrower fun stuff i even like the soundtrack of that movie that's good stuff i wouldn't mind getting a record if that ever happened soundtrack for that uh, the Boston Strangler, based on true events. Good stuff. Uh, one of my absolute favorites, The Box. It's just weird and unique enough to not appreciate, in my humble opinion. And um, I've always appreciated uh, Frank Langella. Langella? I, always, I always struggle with his last name. I know, I'm an idiot. <laughs> but yeah, The Box. I love The Box. Uh, this came out in 2009? It's been a while. But yeah, very unique, uh, in my humble opinion. Not, not, I'm not saying, it just reminds me of something you'd see on like the Twilight Zone or the Outer Limits. But it being a full, a full length feature uh, story here. So yeah, good stuff. Love the box. Can't stress that enough. Uh, the Boy, I enjoyed this one. This is another blind buy. I think it was, yeah, Screen Factory. They're IFC, which I don't think they're doing anymore. Is this IFC? They're part of their IFC? No, it's just Screen Factory. And then I like these movies. They're a lot of fun. They get pretty creepy. Um, I, I enjoyed both of them. So The Boy. Um, the Boy 2. Uh, yeah, Bram's The Boy 2. Um, yeah, the sequel is really good. Yeah, I enjoyed both of those. Um, and then The Boy Behind the Door. I need to get around to watching this Shutter original one here. Um, I've had that for a long minute. I just have not seen it yet. I don't think I have. No, I haven't. Uh, the Boy Next Door. This was a good little thriller. Uh, pretty good. Now that I'm going through my collection, I've got quite a few uh, horrors and thrillers that Jennifer Lopez has been in. So yeah, The Boy Next Door. Good stuff. Kind of reminds me of like the 90s thrillers, you know. So that's definitely... When did this come out? Uh, 2019. It's not that old. I didn't think it was that old. Um uh boys from county hell i enjoyed this one this one was pretty good good practical effects good good monster in it so good stuff and then i'm going to end it with the bo and then i'll start the brs and then that should be the end of the bees on part 11 so and then we'll get to the c's so yeah uh this one was the first time watch for me i like this pretty cool thriller from the 80s or is it early 90s but yeah the boys next door and then ending it for now, this is a good one to stop on because I can remember BR will be the first. So, okay. Uh, the Boy Who Cried Werewolf. Gotta have this movie. It's a classic from the 70s. Um, 1973. I didn't realize it was that early of 70s. But yeah, The Boy Who Cried Werewolf. Another cool release from Scream Factory. 
Okay, guys, that is uh, part uh, 10. So, as always, appreciate your time. And, uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by. So, uh, later. Take it easy.